Hey guys, Kvitan here with what is probably my most cramped build I've ever done. <laughs> but you guys asked for a 2x2, two two, so here you go, even the door is annoying to close. It's got a cryo fridge right here at the entrance, so you can shove your dinos in right away. Then the first floor has all your typical crafting goodies. Sadly, I could only fit three forges in here. You, you can use them all, even if it's a little bit annoying. And we've got two smithies, because uh, they still stack in ASA, well, no, nothing else does. Uh, you can use one for storage or whatever. And then we have this trap door to go up the second floor, which is kind of a giant pain in the ass to open, but I'm pretty sure every time you have a ladder on a trapdoor like this it's annoying so whatever it's just arc stuff you know the second floor up here is both your cramped kitchen and your bedroom like just, just imagine you're role-playing living in a small apartment in Japan or New York or something it's <laughs> it's got boxes you can reach them it's annoying again everything is because the space is so cramped but you wanted it so it's what you get now, some of you guys might be asking why you'd want a base this small, and the answer is so you can hide it in tiny places, like if you wanted to live in a cave. Ooh, fancy transition. It's small enough. You could fit it in pretty much any cave relatively easily, like slam it in there and it'd fit pretty well. Or maybe you want a micro base so you can hide your shame in your overgrown bush. Uh, I am I mean, in like a dense forest like this. Yeah, so no way can find you then. Look at that. It's, look how sneaky it is. You could hide in there. Maybe use it as a backup base for like guerrilla warfare. I don't know what you guys want to do. Whatever you want with it, you know? Move past the why of this build and just accept it, okay? But for clarity and like demonstration purposes, I'm gonna build it in this big ass open field right here. And uh, yeah, that's the intro guys. Now we're gonna go ahead and build it. Here's that there structure list of things you need. It's pretty accurate this time. I learned how to count finally guys. You can stop complaining about it, but right off the bat, we're gonna do a just a two by two. It's, it's simple shit guys, two by two. Don't yell at me in the comments it's not a two by two because you don't know how to count. I'm gonna say that in every video <laughs> from now on because that one guy argued and it was so funny. Anyway, uh, before you place this wall over here in the corner, you gotta make sure you got your cryo fridge there where it will actually fit because it's a pretty tight little squeeze. Next, you're gonna wanna place your Kim bench and it's gotta be as close as possible because this is a very compact base. You gotta you gotta kind of place them in this order and as, as close as you can put them together, guys. I cannot emphasize <laughs> enough how annoying it is to get some of this stuff in here. You gotta get it just right. I, although I guess it's not too big a problem in this game since you can pick them back up, you know, so whatever. Over here, we're gonna put the smithies, but you gotta have your little quarter wall so that you can have your quarter ceiling to put the second smithy on top of it. It. And you don't really need two smithies, but for their size, they have the most storage, and they're like the only thing that stacks still, so it's just use it as extra storage, guys. Do whatever you want with it, but I would use it as like a little box to throw stuff in for repairs, or you're just extra junk storage. It's convenient, it's functional. I don't know what else to tell you. I like putting these little ramps in the bottom of it here just to add a bit of extra protection, a bit of extra health and layer into the foundation so it can't be blown up as easily. But like, this base is so small, who really cares? It's just for being compact and hidden. Having defenses ain't its main prerogative, brother. But uh, over here, we're just gonna use half ceilings, quarter ceilings, whatever, to offset this little hatch frame so it's in the middle and you can actually get to it. That ladder might be a kind of a pain in the dick to place. Uh, depending on how close to the wall you got your Kim bench, but if you did it right, it should just barely fit. And it's a tight squeeze, I tell you. That is the motto of this video, apparently. It's a tight squeeze, just like your mother. <laughs> no, 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 I told myself several videos ago I'd stop doing it, but yeah, just walls. And then we're gonna put all your kitchen goodies down. You kinda gotta place them in this order, guys. You gotta follow along. And I know normally I say don't follow along exactly, but this one's so compact and tight, you kinda have to. Like right here, I accidentally put that wall down first when you gotta put the vault before the wall because the vault's gotta go just a little bit closer. And then you can place the wall and it kind of clips inside of each other. But if you don't do it just right, you won't be able to get the preserving bin down. It won't, it won't fit right there, which is mildly annoying. But that's the entire theme of this whole video, guys. It's mildly annoying. Although surprisingly, that storage box is not that hard to place. It kind of just clips inside the vault and everything perfectly. And actually, shit, I, I don't want to place it like that because then you can't get up it. And you gotta you gotta kind of place it so it goes off to one of the sides, the trap door opening. And Jesus Christ, why can I not open? I can't pick this thing up. Why is it so hard to? Just reaching this thing in general is infuriating. Anyway, see, you don't want it. <laughs> you don't want it to open up like that. That's no bueno. You want it to open up to one of the sides so you can actually get by it. God, why are trapdoors such a pain in my arc? 
But shit, now that I said that, I just remember that the act placing the bed actually is even more annoying. There's such little room to get one in here. I wish I could have more than one. I wish it was still like old arc where you could clip them inside of each other, but that's as good as you're getting, guys. One bed that <laughs> couldn't fit anymore. I guess put some outside. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Like, that's that's all you're getting inside this little tiny cramp base. But you guys kept asking for a two by two, so. Uh, this is the, you, you get what you get and you don't pitch a fit, you know, that's what they always say, isn't it? Oh, oh, actually, and speaking of getting what you get, what, how's everybody feeling about the music? Not specifically the choice in music, I just took old video game music, it's nostalgic for me, but the actual, like, having music in the videos. You guys like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments, tell me I'm a garbage person, or tell me you love it. I don't know, do whatever you want, guys, don't listen to me, I'm just a man on the internet. And, uh... That's pretty much it for the build, I think. That's about... Wait, wait, no, I gotta, I gotta, gotta turn the power on, guys, and light this bitch up so you can see how beautiful it is. Also, we gotta have a couple of, like, a couple turrets on the inside, presumably for protection, If, <laughs> but I'm not sure they actually do anything. I didn't test it on the inside because it's so cramped. I'm not sure they're actually, like, shooting anything. If They're, they're probably getting line of sighted so hard, but I guess it's better to have them than nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, this one again. Make sure you can get the little forge back there, but God, it's so compact. It's a bit too compact, which is why I wasn't even going to make this video until you guys kept asking it. But don't forget the little hatch frame on the roof, guys, so you can get up there. Maybe sort of if you can open it from the inside, but oh, that's the video. It's just a, it's just a really compact cube unless uh, you guys want turrets, don't you? OK, we'll we'll just put a lot of turrets down. kind of disappointing not as musical as the last couple times I've done this but I didn't have as many turrets I guess to work with so eh, maybe next build you'll get some fun turret music again but that is pretty much it for the video guys we're doing my classic little sunset outro because it just looks good and I like it and if you guys like the video comment or like or do whatever you want to do I'm not your parent but if I was your parent, I'd tell you, I'm proud of you, son. You're doing a great job, and I love you. And uh, you should like the video and share it and all that shit. That's <laughs> uh, but tell me if you like the music or what you want to see, and that's it. I'll see you guys next week, maybe, if I don't die of COVID first. Goodbye. <laughs>